<clears throat> how are we doing today? Mike with Big Kid Power Sports and uh, today we're doing a how-to video on changing gear oil or drive oil. Uh, also while you're doing this would be a good time to check for water in your oil. Pretty straightforward. This uh, procedure will hold true for many different drives. This particular one is an L drive but this will work for outboard motors, uh, Merc, Bravo, uh, Volvo, anything basically with a gear case that has oil in the unit down here. Um, some of them are a little different, but the idea is the same. <clears throat> Pretty straightforward. Get a uh, oil pan. If you don't have one of those, um, you can take something like this, cut out the inside, got a nice spout to pour it out. That's a good tip as well. So, <clears throat> easiest thing to do is I always start by loosening the bottom case pull and by doing the bottom one first generally speaking you don't get a bunch of oil come out until you release the, the vent one so it saves for a little bit of the mess now watch carefully because just like this there's generally an o-ring gasket on these bolts you don't want to lose it so <clears throat> you see it's just slowly coming out this particular unit has one that's called a vent So go ahead and loosen the vent. You see it start to come out. You notice this fluid is really nice. It's green. Um, there's different colors of fluid. You can see there, there may be a slight trace of water on it that gives it that brownish look, but generally speaking, I'd say this fluid's pretty good. You could probably open this fill valve as too. Let some more air in and let it come out faster. Now, these don't always come out that easily. If that's the case, uh, you often have to use something that's called an impact driver. Um, regardless of what you use, you want to use the widest flat blade screwdriver you can as not to strip these out. If you strip them out, you have to drill them out and just begins to be a real pain. Um, if you do have water in your fluid, or even if you don't, now is the time to check these gaskets, make sure that they're good. They're cheap enough, they're probably just worth replacing every time you put new fluid in. <clears throat> Once you've let this completely drain out, this one specifically has one that's labeled fill. I would say generally speaking on most of these drives, there's only two. There's, there's a, uh, a plug here and a plug at the bottom. The biggest misconception is, is that you fill it from the top. On this one, because it has a vent and it says fill, you would fill it from the top. <clears throat> but on this, so in order to fill this drive, once it's done draining, you go ahead and put your, your drain plug back in and fill it from the section that says fill. If yours doesn't say fill and you just have two of them, what you want to do is actually fill it from the bottom. Leave both of these open and pump your fluid in from the bottom hole. And what, what happens is you're pushing the, the air up and out. If you were to put this drain plug back in and fill it from the top, you would never get the proper amount of fluid into the unit and you would probably burn up your unit. The easiest way to fill these is with uh, a pump like this. Um, we sell them. They're, they're reusable um, and they have a, th a threaded unit out of here and it specifically threads into these cases. And this literally threads into the bottle. So it makes it mess free, you pump it in. And again, this one I would, if it's got a fill hole, fill it from that. If it's just two, make sure you fill it from the bottom and work your way up. Once it's full, if you're filling it from the fill one, obviously this one's gonna have the, the plug in it already. Put your vent plug back in and then cover this one back up. If you just have the two like most of them do, what you'll do is you'll fill it from the bottom, then you'll go ahead, once all the, all the oil comes, you've got oil coming out of the top, you would go ahead and put your drain plug back in the top, which will, which will hold the fluid so you don't get much leaking out. Remove this from the bottom, go ahead and put your new plug with new gasket back on you should be all set. The other thing is when you fill this, you probably want to make sure that your drive is trimmed straight up and down so you get the most accurate amount of fluid in it. Um, the other thing is, is make sure you've got the right fluid in it. There's different brands, there's makes. Um, 
the one thing to watch for is, uh, you know, this one specifically has replaced his Mercury Johnson ever new Yamaha. Um, some of the Johnson I've heard of has electric shift, it's a different type of fluid versus not. So just make sure that the fluid you have matches the drive you've got on your boat. Check us out online, bigkidpowersports.com. We carry the kits, we carry the oil, we carry gaskets, we carry everything you need. Give us a shout if we can help you out. 815-363-1254. Thanks.